Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is father's number. Uh, the difficulty level is medium, right? So we'll be understanding the problem statement first, then the logic part, and then we'll be proceeding to the coding part, right? So I hope that makes sense. But before proceeding further to the video, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, then guys, please do subscribe. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you. And make sure to join our Telegram community as well to stay updated with all the job opportunities and the content as well that we do put on our, on our YouTube channel, right? So with that note, let's get started with the question. So let's understand what the question says. So the question says given an array ARR of size n for every element in the array, the task is to find the index of the farthest element in the array to the right, which is smaller than the current element. If no such number exists, then print minus one. Note, so there's a zero based indexing. That's what they're saying. So what they want to say is that you are having an array of size n. So for every element that is there in the array what we have to do is we have to find the index of that particular element which is the farthest element in the array in the right part in the right part of the element that we are currently uh, focusing on and it should be smaller than the current element so what we have to do we have to find the index of that particular number that is there in the right side and is smaller than that of the current number and if no such number exists then we have to simply print minus one so uh, let's understand the same with the help of an example. So here you can see we are having the input n equal to 5 array is 3, 1, 5, 2, 4. Okay, so here we are getting the output as 3, minus 1, 4, minus 1, minus 1. Let's understand how. So here if you are considering 3. So if you will move in the right side, so which element is smaller than that of the 3? Which element is smaller? You can see 1 is a smaller. 2 is also smaller but what they are saying is they are saying to consider farthest smallest element right farthest smallest element so 2 is smaller right 2 is smaller if you will if you will consider so what will happen then what will happen uh, that's why we are putting here 3 because 2 is on what index 0 1 2 3 3 here you can see they have explained the same here as well that ERR 3 is the farthest smallest element to the right of ERR of 0 so this is the farthest smallest element okay so we have put the index of that 2 here then 1 so if you will see in the right so there is no element which is smaller than that of the 1 so simply put minus 1 then comes 5 so for 5 if you will see if you will see 2 is also smaller and 4 is also smaller but what we have to consider the farthest is smaller right so 4 in that scenario will be the farthest one here you can see that ERR 4 is the farthest and smallest element to the right of ERR 2 hence we are putting 4 here so 0 1 2 3 4 because the index of this element 4 is what 4 so we are putting 4 here then comes next 2 so in case of 2 there is no element in the right which is smaller than that of 2 so simply put minus 1 for 4 as well there is the same scenario no element right in the right side so simply put minus 1 so I hope uh, that is clear so here's our next example let's understand that as well so for 1 if we are considering for 1 right for 1 if you are thinking so see 2 is this 2 is smaller than the data of 1 no right 2 3 4 0 0 is smaller than that of 1 and what is the index of 0 so 0 1 2 3 4 so we are putting 0 4 here then 2 so for 2 as well fourth index that is 0 right so fourth index will come here 4 then for 3 so 3 as well like 0 is the smaller right then for 4 as well here we will put index 4 then for 0 there is no right element right so simply put minus 1 okay so i hope the problem statement is clear for you so what we have to do is we have to complete the function far number which takes the n number of elements in array arr arr array and returns the array of farthest element to the right of every element of the array so expected time complexity they have mentioned and auxiliary space they have mentioned right so i hope the problem statement is clear so let's understand the logic part uh, to solve this particular problem so let's take this uh, test case we do have for understanding right so for this test case for the array 31524 we are getting the output 3 minus 1 4 minus 1 minus 1 i already explained that why we are getting so right so whatever target is here to first of all understand that uh, from the right side what is the 
minimum value possible to a particular index. What do I mean by this? So let's say we are having the array 3, 1, 5, 4, 2, 4. So uh, can't we just first of all keep track of that thing that for example, I'm on this index, right? So from the right, what is the minimum value possible? that uh, I can have from this array only. So 4 only for this index 4 only because in the right we don't have anything. Now for this particular index if I am asking that okay what would be the minimum value possible up till till up till up this index from the right side if we have to check. So 2 only. From here if you will check so from the right side right from the right side so what would be the minimum value possible 2 only. Like if I am on this index now so what would be the minimum value possible 1 only. Now for this up from this area, from this index, sorry. So what would be the minimum value possible from the right right side if you will consider one only, right? Okay, so you can see now if, if we are doing something like this, if we are keeping track of that thing that um, in a given area for a particular index, what is the minimum value possible? What is the minimum value possible from the right side, right? So we can uh, do something like this. We can take an array. And we can keep track of same thing, right? So let's say we are having this array 3, 1, 5, 2, 4. So let's take another array. You can give it, let's say this is A. So let's take another auxiliary array, ARR, which is storing the minimum value possible from the right side for a given, for a given index. So for this index, like I'll be starting from the last last index only, right? So for this index, you know, right? When we discuss the examples, even there is nothing in the right side, so there is nothing in the right side. So out, output even for this index, the last index was what minus one, right? So what we will do in our uh, ARR array that we have taken now. So here we will store the value of a only, the value of a and minus one only, a and minus one only in our array ERR. So here it would be 4 and rest all of the elements would be 0. Right. Now I have to keep an element here. Right. I want the minimum. Minimum from the right possible including the current element as well. So if you will compare the element which is at the right side and the current element which is minimum. This one. Right. So we will place 2 here. Then the current element and the element next to it that is 2 which is which is minimum 2 right so we will place 2 here then again current element and the element next to it which is minimum 1 right so we will place 1 here now current element and the element next to it that is 1 which is minimum 1 right so we got 1 1 2 2 4 so this is what we have stored in our array ARR right now can't you see that this array is sorted now this array is sorted okay Okay, so this array is sorted something uh, in, the, in your mind, like is there something that we can use, right? Now whatever task is remaining, the remaining task is what? That for a given, like for example, we are having three, we are having three, we have already made an array, we are already having an array that is keeping track of the minimum value from the right, from the right part that we do have for a given index. So whatever task is now, whatever task is now, like let's say we are on this index, zeroth index. So what was our task that we have to find the farthest, okay, we have to find the farthest minimum at the right side. So which was here in the third index. Now here even if you will see so 0, 1, 2, 3, this is the element in the farthest, like if the rightmost part you are keep moving, keep moving to find an element which is at the, which is at the uh, minimum, like which is minimum from the current element and even farthest. So this is at the third index. For 1 if you will check, for 1 if you will check, so there is no value, right? For 5 if we will check, for 5 if we will check, so this is the 4. 4 is at the farthest position and also it is what? It's smaller than that of the 5, right? So we can use this array and what the benefit here is that, that we can use binary search here. Binary search here because our array is what now? Our array is sorted now. So we can use binary search here. So let's say if we are checking for this particular element. So 3, 1, 5, 2, 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. For this one I am checking, right? For this one I am checking. And also I will be updating the values of uh, this ERR array as well. So in, in, as of now they are 1, 1, 2, 2, 4. I am checking for this one. So you know it, right? right? Binary search, you know. So I'll be initializing, 
I, low s i plus 1 and high s high s n minus 1 okay so i value would be what I, zero right we are starting from zero the index so low value will be what one and high value will be what high value will be what one two three four five five minus one four right so if we are doing four plus one five divided by two so we'll be having two right so zero one two three four it means our mid will be what at this particular index our mid mid will be at this particular index okay so now uh, we can check that the element that we do have at mid index what is the element two it is lesser than that of what it is lesser than that of our current element okay so this can be a potential answer right this can be a potential answer what do we need we need index right so we can store this index somewhere to some variable let's call it as answer and we can put mid here right now obviously if the middle element if the middle element we do have that itself is lesser than that of the current element uh, so there can be a possibility because we need the farthest element also right so there can be a possibility that in the right as well in the right side as well if we can get any minimum element right so what we will do in that scenario we will update the value of low s mid plus one low s mid plus one now uh, low value will be what low value will be what mid was what two so low value will be three this is our lowest okay so three plus one so three plus four seven seven divided by two you will be having three so mid is at this particular index at this at this particular index three index now third index now again we are going to check the same thing so if arr of three arr of three is what two if it is lesser than that of our current element or not yes of course it is so we will update the value of answer with mid so mid value is what mid value is what three now so in answer we do have three now right okay so this is what is going to happen and then lower value we are going to increase lower value will be increased to mid plus one lower value would be increased to mid plus one right and that's how we will end our loop right because now low value and the mid value they both are equal so we'll end our loop right so this is the same thing that we are going to do then next time we'll checking for this element we'll be checking for this element so low value will be what low value will be 2 and high value will be 4 right so we will keep on checking like this and also uh, like if we are not able to find any relevant index right we are not see here we got what minus 1 because in the right part there is no element which is lesser than that of 1 so we have to place what minus 1 here so as if in that case for th this element for this element at the 0 to index we got our answer we got our answer so what do we have in answer variable 3 right so 3 will be placed here right so this is how we'll be checking this is how we'll be applying binary search for each and every element and we'll be doing the updation in our this auxiliary array right so i hope that makes sense i hope that is clear so let's have a look on the code part as well so that you can get some more understanding so here is the code for the logic that we just discussed so here we are taking that array that will be keeping track of the minimum elements from the right side right so now what we are doing so i mentioned the last element right the last element will be remaining as it is right because uh, if the element that is at the last index so next to it there is no element that exists right so if you are considering the last index only so the minimum value will be what the last element only right so what we are doing is that arr of min uh, n minus 1 we are putting the element that is there in the actual array in the actual array at the last index right uh, then what we are doing is how we are updating the value how we are providing the values in our array arr min so basically the minimum value minimum value of what uh, the element which is there at i minus 1 index in arr min or the current element of ARRI. Whatever is minimum, we are going to place this into ARR of min i position. Okay, so this is how we are making our array ARR of min. Now, next, what we have to do? So, we have our array now, ARR of min, which is sorted. So, we will be applying binary search to that. So, how? So, in our actual array, what do we need? So, for every element, we have to consider, like as we were having 3, 1, something like this, right? So, first of all, we will be considering this first element because for that, we have to determine what would be the index of that element which is farthest to it and minimum to that one, right? So, that's why we are having this for loop for int i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. Now, low value initialize with what? i plus 1 because we are not going to consider that particular index, right? So, i plus 1, high value n minus 1 and well. 
so well initially is minus one because there can be a possibility then even after doing completing this bandy search and all there was no such element in the right side um, that was smaller than that of the current element then what would happen we have to place minus one only right so we are having while low is less than equal to high what we are doing is int mid equal to low plus high minus low divided by two if arr of min uh, mid element right if it is lesser than that of arr of i so the mid element on which we are if it is lesser than that of the current element so we'll be updating the value of well as mid and low value will be what mid plus one otherwise otherwise what would be doing we'll be updating the value of high as mid minus one right and after coming out of this after coming out of this what we are doing is after coming out of this while loop we are putting the value that is there in the well variable right so if we got some value from here from this binary search thing so we are going to put this in at the i th index right otherwise there can be a possibility that there is no element at the right part which is smaller than that of the current element in this array in this arr min of mint so what would be what would be provided here at the i th index minus 1 right because we have initialized well with minus 1 right and at the last we are simply returning arr of min right because they are expecting from us to return an integer array right so i hope that makes sense i hope you were able to understand this thank you so much everyone for watching keep learning and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel and make sure to join our telegram community as well thank you everyone